If you want to know a nonsense keyboard with a nice tactile switch, this is it. I'm Rio Gian and welcome to the channel. This is like the minimalist dream. There's no logo on the keyboard anywhere. The chassis is enclosed chassis that you would see in most office keyboards. In fact, this is an office keyboard with a unique switch. I think it pretty much sums up this keyboard the best. The layout is standard, so if you want to replace the keycaps, then you would have a pretty easy time finding replacement. Then again, these are PBT double shots, so the question is, why would you? If you want to make your keyboard fun, then you can use those replacement keycaps to mix things up if you don't want that plain look. There are volume control and dedicated calculator buttons on the right corner, which is nice if you need that instant access to a calculator. I actually use this more than I would think because I would need to calculate lands when I make my commander deck for Magic the Gathering. There is a function button that you can disable windows if that's something you like to do. You can change the 6 key to end key rollover if that's also something that you find useful. I think this is one of those chassis that gets shared with other keyboards because the spacebar seems like one of those spacebars that are made for LED lights. In fact, this looked really familiar to the PBT double shot set that I have and it feels kind of like them too. With the enclosed design it might be harder to clean the keyboard but you get that classic look that most of the people in the keyboard community would approve. At least I think so. This keyboard has the Cherry MX Clear, which is a heavier brown, so at first, I was looking up the switch. It has 65 grams of force, which is similar to a black switch, and I remember not liking the black switch because it was just too heavy for me. The interesting thing here is that I actually really like this switch. I feel like maybe because it's heavier, there's a good amount of tactility. Like, if I were to go to browns, it would make browns feel linear. Like, this gives me the same level of confidence as something like a blue switch but without the click. I like how when I hit the key the bump is really pronounced. I know the bump there's like an immediate C when I hit the keys. Surprisingly I can actually go pretty fast with this switch because I don't bottom out that often and I kind of pause at the bump which is like the midway point between the next key. Personally for a tactile switch I think I might just get this over a brown. The downside is that I get finger fatigue pretty quickly. I feel like I use more force when pressing down even though I don't bottom it out. I feel like if I spend more time get used to it I probably wouldn't have finger fatigue as quick. Anyways here's what the keyboard sounds like. This keyboard has the Cherry MX stabilizers, which is nice. And that's pretty much it. Well, if you're new, then there's also a Cold Star stabilizers, which has metal wires. You don't see those as much, but you know that they make the longer keycaps feel better and they're harder to clean and replace keycaps with. Personally, I like Cherry stabilizers because it's easier. The keycaps are double shot PBT, which is a high quality keycap. These will last and doesn't have oil prints when you use them. These are the keycaps that people would often buy as a mod for their mechanical keyboard. And you get this standard with this keyboard. From my experience, I spent about 35 bucks on my keycap set. This is a $80 keyboard. So there's a lot of value with this keyboard considering you're getting a unique switch with it as well. The way how you can tell is the double shot by looking at the inside you see that there's another layer of plastic that's a print on the keycap and notice that the rims on the keycaps are thick which is good because they don't break over a long period of time. Both of the flip up feet has rubber on them so this means the keyboard will be planted at all three angles. There are plastic pads to keep the keyboard planted as well. And when I say plastic, I mean rubber. You get cable management slots, which is nice when it comes to rerouting the cable to match your setup. The cable is rubber, non-attachable, which some might not like that. Personally, I wouldn't mind. 
You get a Velcro which is nice so then you can pack the keyboard on the go. Besides that, the back's pretty simple and it fits the theme of the keyboard. So for 80 bucks, you get a basic premium keyboard that still flies under the radar because there are no LED lights. You get a unique switch that people in the community will like so you can post this keyboard on the mechanical keyboard reddit to seek attention and get approval from those in the community. If that's what you're after, this is probably a good keyboard for it without breaking the bank. If you're a show off, this is not for you because there isn't any RGB and people will not recognize your keyboard. If you want a really good basic keyboard that will last for a very very long time, you like tactile switches but MX Brown is somehow linear to you, this is it. Get this keyboard. There's a link down below. I hope this helped for those that are in the market. If you're new, click subscribe, the bell, thumbs up for more content. You guys stay awesome.